today how to solve 222 raised to the power 3x plus 222 raised to the power x equals to 222. From here, we can rewrite this applying the law of indices when we have a raised to the power m and raised to the power n. We can write this and multiply and we have a raised to the power mn. We can also write it as a raised to the power n then raised to the power m. That is, we can interchange the power. So when we write this in that format, we have 222 raised to the power x. Then we can take 3 outside. Then we will be plus 222 raised to the power x, which is equal to 222. And from here, we can use a letter to represent 222 raised to the power x. So now, let u be equals to 222 raised to the power x. And from there, we can replace that now. And we have u raised to the power 3. Then plus u will then be equals to 222 which we can bring 222 to this side of the equation and we have u raised to power 3 plus u then minus 222 will now be equal to 0 and from here we can factor 222 and we can write it again as u raised to power 3 plus u then minus 6 times 37 so 6 times 37 will give us 222 and uh, this plus 2 can be written as minus 36u then plus 37u just like we have 37 minus 36 we give us plus plus u then we have u raised to power 3 minus 36u plus 37u then minus 6 times 37 which is equal to 0 then from here we can group it you know 2 2 and we take what is common out here so what is common between these two is u so when we take u out we are left with u squared then minus 36 and here what is common here is plus 37 we take that out and we are left with u minus 6, which is equal to 0. And from here, we can rewrite this as difference of 2 square that u into bracket u square minus 6 square. Then plus 37 into bracket u minus 6, which is equal to 0. And from there, we can write this now in form of difference of 2 squares. And this will be u into bracket u plus 6, then multiply by u minus 6, plus 37 into bracket u minus 6 equals to 0. So now, the next step from here, we can factor u minus 6 out because it's common. So we have u minus 6 come out, then what is left here is u into bracket u plus 6 then we have plus 37 left here then which is equal to 0 and uh, we can use u to open this bracket as well so we have u minus 6 then this will be u times u that's u square then plus 6u then plus 37 which is equal to 0 and here we have two possible cases. We have the first one that is u minus 6 equals to 0. And we have the second, you know, case. Here we have u squared plus 6u plus 37 equals to 0. So from here we can take minus 6 here. We have u, we now become plus 6. So u equals to 6 from here. Then from here we can check whether we are going to have a real solution or not from here so we have a to be one here then b to be six 
and c to be 37. So when we use the discriminant that is b square minus 4ac to test, b is 6, d square minus 4 times a plus 1 times c 37. And from there, this will give us 36 minus 4 times 37, that's 148. Then, obviously, this will give us a result less than 0. So, we have no resolution from here. We have no resolution from this aspect. Then, we can solve this. So far, we represented you as 222 raised to the power x. We bring it down and we say 222 raised to the power x, then equals to 6. Then we can take the log on both sides. Taking the log on this side, we have log 222 raised to the power x equals to 6 equals to log 6. We take the log on both sides equals to log 6. And from the law of log n, this power can come to the back here. And this will give us x log 222 will be equals to log 6. And since we are finding the value of x, let's divide both sides by log 222. So divide this side as well by log 222. And this cancel this. So we have x left, which is equal to log 6 divided by log 222 and uh, when we simplify with our calculator from there the value of x from the calculator we can get x to be equals to 0 0.3317 and here we have a value of x we say thank you for watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos. See you in the next class and bye for now.